I've had a few challenges come in of how to get the material onto the trowel without covering the floor. What we do is we place the material onto our handboard or hawk, is its correct name. Okay. And you will see if I give that a little shake and hold it vertically, it won't actually come off the handboard. Because it's the handboard that actually puts it onto the trowel. Because what we do is we place the trowel at the bottom of the handboard and go across the surface of the compound, press it at the end, and then we've got our material onto our trowel. What a lot of people will actually do, they keep the handboard flat, put into the compound with their trowel, they'll push it to the edge, and as you get close to the edge, they try to flick it onto the back of the trowel. So, I hope that helps, and you don't get quite so much onto the floor. So, once we've got our compound onto our hawk, or handboard, we can make sure it's onto our trowel, and we can place our dabs. Three rows of dabs, if you're using a 12 and a half mil board, if you're using a nine and a half mil board, you will need four rows of dabs. The dabs are set at 300 centers, not 300 millimeters apart. So 300 millimeter centers, not 300 millimeters between the dabs. Two methods of actually applying it to the wall. You can either place and sweep away, or you can put it onto the opposite edge of the, the trowel and all you do is you hit and slide away, whichever method suits yourself. So if you have any more challenges for silver, then simply email them in or you can find us on our Facebook page.